Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got I got Jolene today on, the, on this beautiful Tuesday. Hello. Yeah, I bet you're very excited for what we're about to do today. Because we're both going to get traumatized. I... <laughs> you're going to traumatize me? I'm traumatizing myself. <laughs> the... You put this on the wheel. Yeah, and I remembered it fondly as a wee lad, and I highly doubt it's the way I remembered it. All right? <laughs> this was yeah. something I read at least eight or nine years ago. Um, How old was I? I'm 22 right now. So I was I was either 14 or 15 when I first read this. It was first when I was getting into Wattpad. And I remembered it fondly. Enough that like I read the sequel to this book as well. But um, that's where the fondness ends. I don't remember much except for the beginning bit. And I'm a little concerned at how we got to the sequel. Because I remember how the sequel is. So I can't wait to show you about this cool thing I found on the homepage that has been haunting my dreams ever since. <laughs> The silence. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. I, I just. You're like I don't know. What, I don't know the sex. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't. Yeah. I. I mean I don't know either. I mean I know how it starts. It. It's basically like you know every uh, fan fiction from back then and like like the stereotypical like my mom sold me for money and then I got bought by One Direction except we got bought by a fucking mafia. <laughs> that. That's basically what happens. <laughs> gotcha. And, gotcha. Yeah. So I got- I got the- coin on this fine evening. Yeah. I do. Alright. I have a beautiful coin, but first, this is called Soul to a Gang Leader, and may I just say, very 2010s for the- <laughs> for the cover art. <laughs> By Wild Hearts Run underscore complete, uh, with the description reading, Natalie Chambers did not know about her father's gang. That is, until he sold her. What Natalie didn't know is that he sold her to one of the most dangerous gang leaders around. Carter Grayson. Please don't steal my ideas. Achievements. Number 12 in romance. And apparently, according to this, number 20 in abuse. <laughs> what? It does I just... <laughs> There's okay, death wait, wait, in this? <laughs> I, I already have, like, a, like a, a question, right? I don't... Yeah? If... If... This, she didn't know about her father's gang, but she just- they just sold her to, like, another gang? They can't just hide, like, they can't just- how do I word this? Kill each other? dramas where they- oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen those dramas where they disguise, like, they're like, Oh, I'm not gonna send my daughter, I'm gonna send my maid who I've disguised as my daughter. And then they do that. Wow, th th man, that would've been a better plot. Yeah, I was the maid. Of a gang, and they and they sold the daughter, but I was the maid, and they, they gave like, me a. I don't know. I don't know. I wish that would have been a better I've story. <laughs> oh well, wait, wait, wait! Go I haven't read this one yet, so wait, I have wait. no room. This for has twenty-seven point eight million reads. Millions well, of people have read this. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> well, we're about to read it. Yeah, introduction. And you're about to read it again. You Yay! have to read to at least two of these reads. Let's go. Three if we're including mine. Let's a fucking go. <laughs> Alright, do you want to be heads or tails to start this? I Heads. Heads, you go. I, tails, I go. I, okay. <laughs> it's tails. I guess fate said you're gonna fucking read this. <laughs> I saved myself. Alright, introduction with 1.4 million fucking reads. Holy shit. Natalie's POV. Hi, I'm Natalie Chambers, and I'm 21 years old. I just finished college, and I'm finally returning home. I have a long, wavy, dark brown hair and brown eyes. I'm five... Oh, I'm five feet five inches, which is average height, I guess. And I'm single. <laughs> it has been about three years since I've seen my family. I miss them a lot. My family is not very big, but I don't care. I have an older brother named Keith. Ew. And he's the best brother a sister could ask for. Why are you ewing Keith? I don't what know. Keith, Keith done? I don't know. Keith sounds like a meh kind of name, you know? Get a better name. <laughs> oh my god. 
His only flaw is his overprotectiveness. My parents, well, my dad owns his own company, which I think, which I think he invested in stocks, but I'm not so sure. My mom is a stay-at-home mother. <laughs> I, what? I read the comments and his, o- his only flaw is being called Keith. <laughs> Wait, is that actually a comment? That is literally the, the, the third <laughs> comment. That's a crazy name. <laughs> Keith. He's a keeper? Excuse me. My dad's, oh yeah, uh, my mom is a stay-at-home mother who just occasionally helped work, help my dad at work. My dad's company is named Chamberlain's and Industries. Create a name, right? Not. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure what he does, but it seems to be a family business. Hopefully when I get home, I can help out and learn more about the place and maybe work there in the future. Here's a little info about the main character. I promise it gets more exciting. Oh, from what I remember, this does get pretty exciting. Now, how long are these chapters? Okay, this is a decent length. I'll I'll read the first chapter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do the honors. It was just an introduction paragraph. (laughs) I'm just a little nervous about just looking at the side of this. You could see the amount of comments on each little section. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I was just like, I want to click on all of them. (laughs) I haven't seen this since, like, reading, like, a Phoenix Wright x Miles Edgeworth where every sentence was had at least one comment and it just said, they're gay. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's so true. They are kind of <laughs> All right, chapter one, home sweet home, Natalie's point of view. I don't know how great it felt to be finally done with college, three long years away from home. I wonder how much has changed since I left. The plane ride from New York to Colorado was long. Thankfully, I had first class, so it wasn't as exhausting. It's fucking rich, 1%. <laughs> as, I, <laughs> as I landed, I grabbed all my luggage, which was a lot and went to find my parents. Instead, I found a, a chauffeur holding a sign with my name on it. I, I walked over to the guy and smiled. He took my luggage and took me to a limo that was waiting. Talk about rolling out in style. The car ride was silent but quick. Soon, the huge house, which I grew up in, stood out in all of its glory. Man, did I miss this place. Yeah, can you imagine she went from like this to like a, like a, a dingy dorm room? With another roommate, she's like, um, is this my room? And they're like, no, this is both of our rooms. She's like, oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, like, not be here anymore? <laughs> I just want this home room for myself. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I feel, I don't know. I haven't, I don't remember shit about Natalie. So maybe she is stuck up rich. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, when the car stopped, I jumped out of the car and ran inside. I automatically went straight up to my room and jumped on my bed. Oh, I missed you so much, I yelled into a pillow. Still an idiot. I heard a deep voice chuckle. Keith! <laughs> I quickly shot up and jumped into my brother, cause both of us, causing both of us to fall on the floor. Ow, he groaned. Shut up, if I'm fine, you're fine, I chuckled. I broke your fall, he complained. Shut up and hug me, I giggled, and he hugged me. He sighed and hugged me. Well, squeezed the life out of me. I miss my weedle sister, he said in a baby voice. Yeah, that was, that was what I did. I'm just a shy little lad. I'm just, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> Your weedle sister can't breathe, I, I guess. As he let go of me, I rolled off of him and onto the floor. Thank god, I thought I was about to die, I exaggerated and stood up. Oh, get over it, he laughed and stood up as well. I took a good look at my brother and noticed a big change. His figure was a lot more muscular than it, than it used to be and his arms were covered in tattoos. His hair was a darker brown than it used to be and he looked a lot scarier. But I know he's just a dork. Well, you look... I paused. Different. <laughs> Thank you, he smiled. You look terrible. Thanks. I'm, I'm so glad I'm in the presence of my family. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's what I was trying to look. I was trying to look like you today. I smirked and he frowned. Well, I see you two are getting along better than ever. My mother's amused voice chuckled from behind me. Mom, I yelled and turned around to hug her. Oh, I thought it was like, oh, okay. I got it. Mom! <laughs> Not like a, oh, get out of my room, Mom. You don't understand me. <laughs> tonight will be the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for you. No, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we held each other close, and I could tell she was crying. I missed you so much, she sniffled. I missed you too, I choked, trying to hold back my tears. We pulled away as she stroked my hair. You're so beautiful, she smiled. Really? I smiled. Because I was told that I looked terrible today. I looked back at Keith and he smiled. I'm not wrong, he smirked. I turned around and punched him in the arm. Ow, he whined. Mom, she hit me. Can you two act your age? She giggled. Keith, you're 23 and Natalie, you're 21. So get along, you two. What are you talking about with... What are you talking about? This is a strong sibling bond. I smile and hug Keith. Both gave her a cheesy smile and she just laughed. Where's dad? I asked. He'll be home soon. He had an important meeting to attend to, she explained. Oh, okay, I replied. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Same, Keith agreed. Well, there's food in the kitchen, Mom smiled. To the kitchen, Keith yelled and ran downstairs. Yay, food, I yelled and followed Keith to the kitchen. Man, it feels good to be home. <laughs> Man, the Natalie is so me. When I see food in the house, I'm like, yay, food. And then I, I go hey. downstairs and eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> you you eat food? I, yeah, surprisingly. Oh my god, crazy. Yeah. Alright, chapter two. You did what? <laughs> Natalie's point of view. After grabbing a much needed shower and throwing on some blue sport shorts with a matching top, I was sitting on the couch chat chatting with my mother and brother. So... So, loser, when are you going to be able to play, play me in some tennis? He smirked. Ready to lose so soon? I challenged. Haha, <laughs> he laughed. I'm not going to lose, I'm going to kick your- And he was cut off by Mom. Kick Michael Chambers, he warned. That sentence better be- That sentence better end in butt. It was, he lied. <laughs> A butt? Anyway, you ready- <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, are you ready to lose? I giggled. Ready to kick some booty. That's my girl, my mom smirked. Keith and I grabbed some rackets at the gym and walked outside to our tennis court. Our mom grabbed us a bag of tennis balls from the garage and gave them. Alright, let's do this, Keith yelled and threw the ball at me. Luckily, I was able to return it and hit hard. It went back and forth for a bit before Keith hit it out. Well, of course these rich people have a fucking tennis court. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. No, he groaned. Fifteen to zero, Mom hollered, from her chair on the patio. Or, or fifteen, love. Keith and I played three matches of tennis. Sadly, I only won the first one. I'm the winner, Keith chanted. He's been doing this for ten minutes, and I'm getting pretty annoyed. As we walked onto the patio, I took a tennis ball and threw it back into Keith's pad. Good. Deserved. Fuck Keith. <laughs> <laughs> really? He frowned and took a drink of Mom's lemonade. I was drinking that, Mom frowned. Sorry, Mama. Keith apologized and rubbed the back of his head. I poured myself a glass of lemonade, which was taken out of my hand by Keith. Thanks, sis. He smirked and sat in one of the patio chairs. You're welcome, I grumbled, and poured another glass of lemonade. I sat down in a chair next to Keith and took a sip of my lemonade. Uh, so, how was Col- Mom was cut off by Dad walking out back. Dad, I shouted and hugged him. However, I felt rejected when he didn't hug me back. I pulled away and looked at him. He had tears in his eyes and he looked at me with guilt. What's wrong, Dad? Thank you, Dad. I'm so sorry, Natalie. He sobbed. What happened? I asked. I, I sold you. He choked. You did what? <laughs> I, I, is this how these things go? Yeah, I guess. It's just that blame. It's just like, hey, I hey, sold you. Yeah. There, what are the like, six point three thousand comments on the phrase "I I sold <laughs> you"? It's Lamal the fuck. <laughs> just Damn, got I guess. <laughs> Imagine the situation. Man, I, the house so bad. I guess now she knows what she does for work. <laughs> my bag's already packed. Time to go meet my love interest. <laughs> the stuttering, like the stuttering, like bitch. Stay with your chest. You're gonna sell your daughter. <laughs> I love that man. Papa really said, welcome home now. Goodbye. <laughs> no shit. This comment she made me offensive. She came back like 20 minutes ago and Yodi sold her. 
damn. I like I scroll down to see more of the thing, just to make sure like everything's on screen. And the first thing I read was I, I sold you. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. That's what Keith looks like. Why? I know that I know this person doesn't have tattoos. Who I'm thinking of, but the way that Keith like looks, I don't know why his face gives off like uh, Ethan from uh. Oh, fuck, what's the name of the fucking Cranky Games or some shit? Some YouTuber. <laughs> oh, Cranky Gameplay. Yeah, I don't know why his face looks like Ethan's. I don't know why. Gotcha. I would love to see it if I could get past this <laughs> goddamn ad. <laughs> what, what ad do you have? <laughs> I don't, it, it's Solitaire, the first one, I think. Yay. Who's Carter Grayson? Oh no, he's the guy from the uh the the intro that we that we read. <laughs> mm. Oops, I'm taking sips out of Cameron's drink when I have a perfectly good drink next to me that is mine. <laughs> Oopsies. Ah. <laughs> All right, I, honestly, I'm loving how Natalie's looking right now, dude. Also, I uh, want isn't no. that the actress from like Shameless or something? Oh, I have What's no it? idea. The Gallagher <laughs> thing, that mm. Gallagher show. Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. That's uh Fiona, F Fiona Gallagher. <laughs> I'm so smart. Yeah. I haven't even seen that show. I keep getting. I love it. her. I love her voice. Yeah. I listen to that like audio recording of when oh, she sings in Phantom of the Opera, and it's literally, it consumes my brain. I think about it once a week. Also, I'm really curious if does this guy that they took like a the picture of for Keith. Does he actually have these tattoos, or did they Photoshop it in? Because, like, oh, the eagle one looks see, very real, yeah. and then the other ones look like just... <laughs> yeah, those are definitely Photoshopped on. Yeah. I want to know which... Like, they're like, yeah, just slap some tattoos, and yep, that's, uh, that's the gang leader's son. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> you could reverse image search if yeah. you want to. I, I, I'll probably do that in a, later, because then I don't have to set up all the shit, but... I wonder what Carter Grayson looks like. If we're gonna get sold off to someone, can they at least be hot? Probably Just... the guy on the cover. <laughs> the guy with the with no shirt and tattoos photoshopped on? With the money point? <laughs> Maybe that is him. <laughs> <laughs> who's, Carson, Car who's Carter Grayson? Natalie's POV. What do you mean you sold me? I asked. I sold you. He saw- <laughs> What do you mean you did this? I did this. <laughs> to whom? Mom yelled. Why? Carter Grayson. Dad grinned his teeth and huffed. Carter Grayson. Keith raged. Who the fuck is Carter Grayson? I asked. Everyone ignore my question. Why on earth did you sell her to Carter Grayson? Why did you sell her in the first place? <laughs> That's a good point, Mom. <laughs> I didn't oh have a God. choice, he said. There were my options, watching him kill all of you or give him Natalie. Lucky he bought her for- I only worth a hundred million dollars? Nah, you gotta up that. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I, I guess- yeah, inflation. That's probably like what? <laughs> 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 That's probably like what, like 300,000 now? Uh, when when Sorry, did this come out? Million. Uh, this came out in 2015. <laughs> So that's gotta be like at least like a three hundred fifty percent profit or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, but she has to move in with him today. Today, I just got here. I argue, and I don't even know who Carter Grayson is. Dad sighed and motioned for me to follow him. We all followed him into his office, and he s told me to sit down. He sat down in his chair behind his desk and sighed. Now, Natalie, he began. Promise me you won't get mad. Had, promise me you won't be mad already. Like, I, I know I already sold you for money, but, like, don't don't get mad at me about this, at least. <laughs> I'm already mad, I huffed. Fair enough, he sighed. Now my co-op, my corporation chambers industry isn't really what it seems. What do you mean, I asked. Mom and Keith walked behind Dad and stood by his side. Chambers Industry doesn't invest in stocks. Stonks, he sighed. We're a drug business. A gang, of a matter of fact. What? I began. Are you serious? Yes, he's serious, Mom sighed. 
I stayed silent and tried to process all this. Why the f- why didn't you tell me? I raged. We wanted to protect you, Dad replied. You have such a positive outlook on life. I wanted you to have what that with that happiness instead of looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life. Why did you tell- Why did you tell Keith then? Yeah, yeah, wait a minute! I get he's older, but like, still. <laughs> yeah, what if it's some like some extreme sexism? Like, well, he's a he's a boy, so like, he, he could handle getting shot with a pistol, but you? You're just- you're weak! <laughs> you're just a weak young woman! <laughs> you're just a little bitch baby! <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry, <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> <laughs> Women in gang? Unheard of. Your mother, though, yes. <laughs> she, I seen her kill a man at point blank rage, and that's when I fell in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> that's so real. <laughs> what is that one meme? It was like POV. I'm shooting a guy in the chest, and we make eye contact, and he's like, oh, "I never meant to break your heart." <laughs> it slows down. <laughs> what? Please. Oh, damn it. It was ma- it was mainly with like the the alpha wolf thing like POV we're running through the woods and I we and we make eye contact and it has that stupid song playing in the background. I will see if I can find it. You need to experience this. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> like the father is like shooting a man, like killing him for like ransom because he didn't pay up, and mom's like, I I think I found my husband. <laughs> this this is the man I'm gonna marry. <laughs> Oh shit, where was I? I went off on a tangent. Oh, why did you tell Keith then? I fumed. I can't believe he kept the secret from me! Well, when Keith was 17, he was already in the gang. Dad sighed. I didn't know ga- Dad had a gang until I made my first drug deal with this gang. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> okay. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> I sighed, finally letting everything sink in. We were just trying to protect you, Mom assured. I understand that, I breathe out. But who was Car- Carter Garrett Grayson and why did you sell me to him? <laughs> yeah, Mom agreed. Why did you sell her only daughter to Carter Grayson? Who the fuck is Carter Grayson? <laughs> Everyone's like a big deal and we're like, who the fuck? <laughs> who am I living with now? <laughs> God, <laughs> I don't even know my family. <laughs> Dad sighed and rubbed his forehead. Like I said earlier, I didn't have an option. He huffed. How did you get on the topic in the first place? Keith growled. Okay, let me start from the beginning, Dad explained. I was supposed to talk to Carter about some money I owe him. I told him I would have it next week, but he was stubborn. I crossed the line. Crossed the line? I asked. Yes. Carter hates it when he doesn't have his money on time, he continued. Now, Carter is someone who you don't want to mess with. He's dangerous, Natalie, so stay on his good side. Oh, thank you. That's some good advice for I'm, me being sold to the man <laughs> is now stuck with him. <clears throat> Just be nice to him. Just make sure you give him walkies every day, little head scratches, or uh, he, he will shoot you in the back. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh... Yeah, anyway, he was really pissed at me and held a gun to my head. Sadly, I knocked over a picture that I had of you, and he saw you and be- was- became intrigued with you. And that's when he gave me a decision. And I wasn't going to let you- But I wasn't going to let you go for free. He wanted to pay, so I'll- So I gave you half- I gave you half of- uh, <laughs> Well, thanks, Dad. He ga- At least he gave me $50 million. That makes up for it, I guess. Oh, by the way, that question you had, that a hundred, uh, a hundred million dollars. Yeah, how much is it? It is a hundred million dollars from 2015 in the year of our Lord, 2024, <laughs> which would be... <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. I put the number in wrong. Oh, uh, <laughs> I thought you meant to be like... I, I'm sorry, that's so unprofessional of me. I thought you were about to say, like, I actually depreciate it. It's only worth $10,000. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, the, the the value of the dollar decreased several. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, wait, I can't even type. I'm illiterate. <laughs> while, while you figured that out. What, why didn't you fight back, I wondered. Sweetheart, uh, Carter Grayson is younger and stronger than I am. Dad sighed. Oh, I mumbled. I'm so mad that he sold me. But there's nothing oh. I could do about it. What? So- okay, I got it. So instead of a hundred million, 
yeah, 100 million. It is 132 million, 780 and 40 cents. Damn. Yeah, he should have bought us for 200,000. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing with the fucking numbers. We, he should have bought us for like, uh, why not 500 million? Uh, are we not worth it? <laughs> wow. Carter Grayson, whoever you may be, <laughs> this mysterious man. I've, a few tears rolled down my cheek and I put my head on my hands. Soon, I felt a, a strong arm wrap around me. Keith. <laughs> Don't cry not, he cooed. I'll get you out of this. Thanks, Keithy. Oh, thanks, Key. I I smile at the old nickname I used to call him. No pro. Keith was cut off by a loud knock at the door. Grayson. He then mumbled. Shouldn't someone get that? I asked. That's why we have butlers, sweetie. <laughs> That's a good point, Mom. Wow. <laughs> Mom smiles softly. <laughs> yeah, we got a butler to deal with that. He can get shot first. <laughs> <laughs> Soon one of the butlers walked in with three men falling behind him. The three men were all buff, scary, and slightly attractive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they all had dark brown hair with some tattoos on their necks and arms. Does everyone in this universe have dark brown hair? <laughs> um, we, I guess. Are we gonna meet, like, Carter Grayson? He's actually has, like, blue eyes, blonde hair, stunning skin. Oh my skin. god. <laughs> He's the only oddball out. You can spot him in a crowd. <laughs> We're here for the girl, Rob. One of the men boomed. Where's Carter? In the car. He had to make a phone call. The guy explained. Well, all of her luggage is in her room. Dad stated. AJ, Kai, get her stuff and put it in the car. The man ordered. The two other men nodded and left the room. Natalie. Dad, Dad began. This is Kent, one of Carter's goons. Kent and I locked eyes and I gave him a wee smile. <laughs> Why, why is this name gonna be Carter? That's such a dog shit name. <laughs> sorry. I think of Carter and I think of like some toddler. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to anyone named Carter, Carter in our audience. No, don't be sorry. But... <laughs> no, I feel like I gotta apologize. Goons, like Rob that, like Rob that hurts. What? Oh, I, there's no con- sorry, I was like, what? <laughs> Goons! Really, Rob, that hurts. Ben started and smirked and looked at me. Well, Carter was right. She is hot. Thanks. I'm really- I strive on my, uh, per my perflection or whatever. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, my, my looks, my attraction. I looking like hot shit apparently to this goon. You think he's a gooner? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when I had to make one brain rot joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew, I knew you were gonna do it. I, <laughs> I dread. Uh, I can feel Keith tense up next to me, which made Kent chuckle. Anyway, Kent. His name's fucking just Kent, not Keith or or Ken. Kent. <laughs> Side. Let's go, Natalie. We have other things to do. Uh, oh, okay. I stuttered and got up. Mom, Dad, and Keith hugged me goodbye, and I walked and walked me outside. To be honest, I wanted to cry, but I'm a strong girl. I can get through this. I hope. When I got outside, I was met by a three black 2015. What does that say? Es Escalade. Escalades with tinted windows. The two guys. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> You're like maybe, maybe I can get behind this. <laughs> Look, I want an Escalade, so I get it. Yeah. The two guys Kent sent to my luggage were loading it up in one of the Escalades. Call us if you need anything, Mom sobbed. Don't cry, Mom. I'll be fine, I assured. If Keith tries to take advantage of you, kick his ass. Keith encouraged. Kent laughed and leaned against one of the cars. R Roger that, I giggled. Wow, we're very optimistic about being sold. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> It's on such short notice, you don't really have time to react, I guess. I guess. You just figured out your parents have been hiding this, like... You think this company just sells stocks, but really they do drug deals and works with other mafias, and... And then you just got sold for only, for only that much money? <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, <laughs> Remember, he's dangerous, so stay on his good side, Dad clarified. 
Her doesn't have a good side, Keith muttered, which made me laugh. Thanks. Natalie, I'm serious. <laughs> My dad warned. I'll be careful, Dad. Don't worry. I reassured him. Oh, it's, it's the cover! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I'll be careful. Why is that so funny? Something about it just looks so wrong. <laughs> and it's the like not the tattoo. I feel like it's like multiple things edited together. Here, we'll look, I'll read this and then we can talk about the mess that's out here. <laughs> here, Dad said, handing me a present. Where did he get this from? Did he just have this the whole walk here? Open it when you're alone and use it if you need to, he whispered. I I nodded and walked to Kent, who opened the car door for me. I stood in the car and was surprised to find a very attractive man around my age. <laughs> Hello, Natalie. His deep voice boomed. It said shivers down my spine. Is that him? <laughs> wow. He looks like... You know what he looks like? Without the tattoos and, and the and that silly little backdrop, he looks like one of the models for, like, um... Oh, fuck, what's the name of the place? It was at the mall, and it used to be Have really dark. Yes, yeah, a copy of it, yes. I am so good. <laughs> also, what... I, okay, I don't know how to comment without this, without sounding, like, sexual as fuck, but, like... What are those hip bones? You see that shit? You see how that curve? That boot's built like a fucking Barbie doll. It has like the hinges that you can move the legs around. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Not the hinges. <laughs> you can move the joints. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the best reading we've ever done. <laughs> I have. To, I gotta. I cannot. You saw it too, right? Like where, where like the the hips go no, down I, into I the pants. Yeah, I see it. I see it. <laughs> the joints. <laughs> the joints. Chapter forty. Uh, that. Wow. Wow. Who who is that good looking man? Is this Carter? <laughs> you know what? No, nothing can ever. Uh, Oh, what is it? What am I trying to say? My my brain short circuited. I was trying to come up with something funny to say, and then I forgot. <laughs> oh damn. Oh yeah, nothing could ever top Sanford though. I'm sorry, Carter. You're like maybe like D tier, <laughs> on on the D tier, -tier a deer tail man. <laughs> yeah, I give a D tier. <laughs> would not pay for dinner. Uh, <laughs> would not would not pay for okay. Natalie's point of view on, on chapter four. Oh, mm. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that all makes sort of like my brain is <laughs> like I can't even process. What are the four hundred eighty comments on this? You know what? No. You don't even know. No, look at the two point two k on the the image of the photo. Oh God! I what to say? I was speechless. This guy was really hot. His jawline was flawless. <laughs> this build was muscular. Is this Carter? Are you Carter, I asked? That would be me, he smirked. Well, this might not be as bad as I thought. <laughs> no, girl, <What's> no! The... <laughs> <laughs> What's the box, he asked. I looked down at the, at the present and shrugged. Imagine it was this moment that, that I realized that the car was in motion and we had left my house. I don't know. I'm supposed to open it later. Carter chuckled, then moved it to next to me. <laughs> Bro, five feet. <laughs> Dude, COVID rule. <laughs> COVID, six feet. <laughs> six feet. He's like, what the fuck is COVID? I'm like, you'll worry about it. Just, just fucking back. Back, I said. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> well, we're on good terms. Let me tell you the rules. He began. Rules? I asked. Yes, rules. Rule number one. Don't flirt with their guy. Rule number two, don't irritate me. Gosh. Rule number three, you don't leave unless you ask me for permission. Rule number four, if you disrespect if you disrespect me, there will be consequences. And last but not least, rule number five, do what I tell you to do. Man, what kind of 50 shades of gray shit is this? I don't want to know. I, know. I really what don't. Mean. What kind of rules are those, I frowned. Those are the rules you're going to follow, he replied. But those, but those rules are stupid, I argued. Last time I checked, I was a free woman. Carter's jaw clenched and his eyes darkened. Was he a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> no! Sorry, last time, 
What? Did I want you to check that? Oh dear. <laughs> he growled. Oh my god, he is a little wolf. <laughs> back, back, I say, get animal control. <laughs> Help, that's not clean. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't, so that doesn't mean a damn thing, I argued. Just because you bought me doesn't mean I have to do what you say. I think that is Carter grabbed me roughly and pulled me close, and I could feel my shoulders bruising already. Listen here, you little bitch. Bro. <laughs> You're gonna do what I say, or I'll kill you in the most painful way to think of. Got it? I nodded, and he let go of me. I rubbed my shoulders and scooted close to the door. What a bipolar, what a bipolar jackass. Remember Dad's rules. Stay on Carter's good side. After about, 50, after about a 15-minute car ride of silence, we pulled up to a huge house. When I say huge, I mean this place was bigger than a ma- This place was a mansion. It was bigger than my house. Welcome to your new home, Natalie. Carter whispered in my ear. Don't do that. Like, <laughs> 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 you know that meme where the guy sprayed like bug spray? I hate that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We would die. Like, if, if that was us, we, we would die so bad. No, I think you could do it. You were like, oh, an Escalade? And you are like, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll stay for the Escalade. <laughs> <laughs> I would die yeah. from my smart mouth. <laughs> no, actually, like, he'll be like, I can get you the Vox Sandy you always dreamed of. I'm like, alright, sold. Where do oh, I? You'd be, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be gone. Be... <laughs> you'd be gone. <laughs> <laughs> you would have got that thing. Oh my uh, like, sign me up, all right, sign me up. I can get whatever I want, busy pop stuff. Plushies? I'm fine with this. Welcome to your- Welcome to your new home, Natalie. Carter whispered in my ear. <coughs> Stepped into the car and looked at the house. Wow, I gaped. This house is huge. That's what hard work will get you, sweetheart. Carter smirked. <laughs> Motions for me to follow him. With my present in hand, I follow him into the house. When I walked into the house, I stopped in my track. It's as beautiful inside as it is on the outside. You know, for a gang leader, you have fine taste, I gave. <laughs> what kind of compliment is that? Man, you don't have a piece of shit taste! <laughs> <laughs> they actually watched, like, like, the... the... Yeah, I'm actually, <laughs> they're like... They looked at the new Despicable Me movie and they're like, yeah, you, I was picturing like a supervillain kind of lair, but actually, this actually looks like like people live in here. <laughs> it's awesome. Hey Gabe, looking at the chandelier on the ceiling. <laughs> I can't take all the credit, Carter sighed. I only designed our bedroom. My mother did the rest. Oh. <clears throat> I paused. Wait a minute, did you say our bedroom? Yeah, our bedroom, he clarified, as in you and me. I don't even know you, I argued. And, he droned. <coughs> I'm not going to sleep in the same bed as you, I snapped, and Carter growled as he shoved me against the nearest wall. What's with the growling? <laughs> heal, boy, heal! <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have that, like, a necklace that Inuyasha has, where, <laughs> like, when she says say, he, like, slams into the ground. Uh, listen here, cupcake, he growled. <laughs> you're gonna do what I say, you're gonna put a bullet in your head. Your choice. Down is good side, Natalie. Oh, who am I kidding? Keith was right. This guy does not have a good side. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna be roomies, I whispered. And he smirked at me. Carter turned away, then started walking up the stairs. I stayed put and wondered if I should follow him or not. And he turned around and looked at me. Man, his eyes are gorgeous. They're bluish gray and they're absolutely stunning. Why do the hot ones have to be jerk? Based. Follow me if you want to see our bedroom, he chimed and continued up the stairs. I followed him up the stairs and stared at the present in my hand. I wonder what it is. Is it a Glock so we can kill ourselves out of the situation? <laughs> Please let it be a <laughs> Glock. <laughs> oh my god. I made a sale. Thanks, Makari. Alright, why doesn't he smile? Wait, who the fuck are these uh, attractive guys? Like, that's what Kent looks like? You're telling me I can't flirt with these people? That's some bullshit. <laughs> I'll get there soon. You know, know what I'm realizing? Since he's already claiming that we're like, like already like dating or some shit just because he like bought me for like, like a hundred million dollars. This is like a male bride. 
literally bought Natalie, like, yeah. what, maybe, maybe a couple hours before this whole interaction? Yeah. Bro, this is, uh, this is basically, like, uh, in a roundabout way, this is, like, get, getting one of those mail-order brides, I swear to god. <laughs> what? Do you not know what a mail-order bride is? Like, I, I, I do, but... This, I, this, this is almost like that. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, this is this 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 is my new wife, and we're like, help me, <laughs> please. Is it weird that I don't find any of these men attractive at all? No, I don't. I don't blame you. To be fair, they're like, hold on, let me look at the picture again. These are all the same guy. <laughs> you can't convince me they're not are all they the same really? guy. I mean, they all, dude. There's nothing like significant. They're all wearing tattoos. They're all white dudes, and they all I have like dark like, brown hair. I like how you say they're all wearing tattoos. Like they yeah. look off. <laughs> Yeah, they're temporary ones. <laughs> you can they, they, yeah. they, they go in the shower and they just scrub them off. <laughs> yeah, they get the they get a little roll of tape. They gotta apply them every morning. Yeah. Also, what is with the the two guys on the side? They like they're these hip bones, dude. And why are all the pants sagging? Like the dick's about to come out. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Someone give these boys give them a belt. They need to pull their pants up. <laughs> I think they are- they are wearing belts. They aren't using it effectively. At least the top one is. <laughs> it's supposed to hold the pants up, not let them sag. <laughs> Alright, oh, fucking yeah. Natalie's POV. When we got to the bedroom, it was actually quite nice. The walls were gray and the bed was pretty big. To be honest, I didn't think I have- I will have problems sleeping here. I walk over to the- the window and look outside. There was a large pool, a hammock on the patio, and the basketball court. Uh, nice place you got here. <laughs> I complimented. Thanks, Carter mumbled. I turned over and saw him standing there shirtless, rummaging through this dresser. I couldn't help but stare at his tattoos on his arm and chest. I also got a good look. Oh, a good look at his six-pack abs, which might, which looked mighty fine on his body. Like what you see, he chuckled. I scoffed. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You said what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I obviously like the view. Know what this reminds me of? Of like, he forced me out of my rags and we had to sit down for dinner and like... <laughs> what? Oh god. What are you- what are you reading? <laughs> I... <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing. I just wanna know. No, but this is a TikTok <laughs> audio. This is a TikTok audio and it was like... Oh, sure. Of course. <laughs> this is a... I'm trying... I literally saw it from... For the Bill Cipher and Stanford one, he's like, he forced me out of my rags and made me sit down. And he was like, he's like, you look nice. I said, fuck you. I said, but it was true. I look nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I gotta find it. What is this? <laughs> you're making me sound like a psychopath. You're like, you're like, cool. I I totally understand. You might be like, like SOS, SOS, elf, no, elf, help, help, no. help. <laughs> How do you know? Oh my god. <laughs> It's like you're in the it's like you're in the fucking wall. <laughs> Were you actually asking you for help? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it like, Elf, I don't I, know what to do. I, it's I, I, Phoenix is being crazy. I, I keep being down bad. I'm, I'm actually gonna ask for help now. Like. I, 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 <laughs> I was just replying to a message and I felt like you were like watching me. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I don't want him to know that. I'm so mad at being sold to this jerk. <laughs> sure you don't, he laughed and slipped on a black v-neck. I was still going to, s to say something before guys, one of them being Kent, came through the door with my stuff. Man, this stuff is heavy. Shut up, Kent. <laughs> yeah, fuck Kent. Just like Keith. You know what K names? Just get rid of them. <laughs> Why stop at K names? K sounds familiar with C. Just get just get rid of Carter too. <laughs> Who the fuck needs Carter? Shut up, Kent. At least you're not carrying her wardrobe, one of the guys complains. Would you all quit whining? And Carter smirked. You're acting like babies. You don't have to carry anything, Kent whined. Carter shook his head and walked over to me. The guy set down my stuff and looked at me. Katie, these are my friends, Kent, Kai, AJ, and Cole. You know, yeah, just get rid of the K's and the C's. We just get left Aja. 
AJ didn't look bad, I guess. We we can go with AJ. <laughs> Carter sighed. He pointed at each guy, and they all smirked at me, except for Cole, who had an unamused look on his face. She's hot. <laughs> oh, AJ <laughs> smiled and kissed my hand. Carter pulled me closer to him and smacked AJ's hand, AJ on the head. Watch yourself, Carter warned. AJ smirked and put his hands in the feet. I return my gaze back to Cole, who looks like he's he would rather be dead. Me, yeah, Cole was us. Dude, that's the real thing. <laughs> Cole is our self-insert. <laughs> oh my God, Cole's gonna do something heinous. Yeah. And we're gonna be like, ooh, we don't know this man. We've yeah. never met him in our life. <laughs> Why doesn't he smile? I whispered to Carter. Who, Cole? He asked, and I nodded. Cole f only finds amusement in pain in. When pain is inflicted on an enemy, why is there 1.4 thousand garments? Oh, God. oh, cute. He's not like most girls. Oh, so depreppy. I find Cole a bit scary, but I went back to the start and saw his picture. <laughs> Everyone's down bad. It isn't just a me thing. <clears throat> That's nice. I sighed. Okay, so don't make Cole mad. <laughs> Okay, Carter began. Unpack. We'll, we'll be downstairs. I nodded and watched as they filed out of the bedroom. As soon as they were all out of the room, I sat down in bed and opened the present. Oh my god! To my surprise, it was a gun and some bullets! We can kill ourselves! Was there really? Oh my god! We can shoot him or shoot ourselves. I'm just saying. Both options are good! <laughs> After, after a few minutes of staring at the gun, I quickly put it in my drawer and cover it with some clothes. Why don't we just keep it in the box and just make it look like we didn't open it? That's so real. Yeah, the fucking idiot. <laughs> how do I know how to do things better than the fucking person? <laughs> Once I was done unpacking everything, I walked out of the room. Once I walked out, I bumped into the wall. Never mind, it was, it was a chest. Watch where you're going, Call growled. Is everyone a fucking werewolf? <laughs> Everyone's growling at us, I'm scared. Oh god. <laughs> this, is, this is sorry, I stutter. He just glared at me and then walked away. Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Literally, I'm about to <laughs> shoot this man. <laughs> I decided to find my way around the house, which is a bad idea. I got lost several times. This is stupid. Because I can't find my way back to my room, I sat on the floor. <laughs> I love that. We just like I, I we're in the middle of a mansion. Like I give up. I, I can't navigate and just cry on the floor. <laughs> oh my god! What is Laurel Road? <laughs> what are you doing? A voice behind me chuckles. I turn around to see Kai smiling at me. I can't find my way around the house. I I sighed. I got lost and frustrated, so I sat down and waited to be rescued. That's nice, he laughed. However, Carter wants to see you in his office, so follow me. Oh, I love how- they probably have security cameras. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck Honestly, is this yeah. bitch doing? And we're just like, the voices! <laughs> <laughs> I nodded and then stood up and followed him down the long hallway. The hallway led to two big wooden doors. Kai knocked and then walked in, and I followed closely behind. The office had a big desk in the middle of the room with big windows behind it. It, there was two chairs in front of the desk and three chairs on the side of the desk on the wall. Look what I found lurking in the halls, Kai chuckled. Shut up. I gr are we a werewolf too? We're growling. We're oh just my gosh. Oh Ooh. my god. He already made us a werewolf. Yeah, I he, don't even, he I don't turned even us. Think this how werewolves work. <laughs> what if no, they're vampires? <laughs> they're all pasty white. Maybe they can be vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire gang! <laughs> Literally, it's a gang of vampires! <laughs> Ooh, feisty, AJ chuckled. Carter scolded him, which caused AJ to smirk. Where have you been? Carter asked. No, we weren't even exploring! We- we gave up and cried in the hole! <laughs> I was exploring, I sighed. Did you find your way around good? He smirked. Yeah, I lied. Don't lie, Kai laughed. I found her sitting on the floor in the middle of the hallway by Kent's room. She says she got lost and frustrated, so she sat down. This earned a laugh from everyone in the room but me. I felt really embarrassed. Cole walked through the door and sat in one of the chairs along the wall. What's so funny? He asked. Oh, Natalie here got lost. It's a big fucking house. I would've got lost. <laughs> she laughed. Cole just rolled his eyes and leaned against the wall. AJ, Kai, and Carter kept chuckling about me getting lost, but it got worse when Ken walked in. Why is everyone laughing? What did I miss? 
Can't ask. Now that we got lost in the house, how many times are you gonna repeat the fucking joke? Everyone's gonna come in and be like, "Why is? Why are you guys laughing?" I'm like, oh, you like, gotta hear this. Mom this is dumb. <laughs> like, oh, Natalie got lost. <laughs> this dumb bitch got lost in our big expensive house, and they're like, "Ha, ah, poor." <laughs> <laughs> Now he got lost in the house, AJ laughed harder than he s as he said it. It's not that funny. Soon Ken burst into laughter, which caused all the guys but Cole to laugh. My embarrassment turned to anger as I turned around and walked out of the room, slamming the door in the process. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> Wait, what did he call us in the office for to make fun of us? <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's- I, I guess so, that's literally it. I ended up outside and- and decided to check out the hammock. I sat in it and looked out in the sky. Why'd it have to be sold? <laughs> so true. <laughs> I closed my eyes and started thinking. However, my thoughts were interrupted by a pair of footsteps coming behind me. I opened my eyes and saw Carter standing over me. Glad you found your way outside, he smirked. Shut up, I scoffed. You know, he began. I left before I had a chance to talk to you. I'm sorry, but I don't like being made fun of, I huffed. And he rolled his eyes and continued. You need to get ready, he stated. For what? I asked. My parents are having a party, you're my date. He queried, did he really buy us for a hundred million dollars to be his plus one to his parents' party? <laughs> that is some next level. <laughs> yeah, it's real dumb. <laughs> I don't want to go, I huffed. You don't have an option, he glared. So get in the shower and wear something nice. After that, he walked away and I walked into the house. And then I plotted the way I should shoot him in the head when he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Meet the parents! Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> I like how there is uh, the dream... What is it? Dreamer time? <laughs> no. Like, uh, watermark yeah. on it? It looks like a hypn like hypnotizing mark where it, like, swirls and it makes you mm -hmm. forget shit. <laughs> Alright, would you like to- I don't to know why I started doing yeah, I guess so. The, the last paragraph. The, the last chapter we're reading. Oh, the okay, last paragraph? No, no, I meant the last <laughs> chapter, my bad. <laughs> you got excited, they're like, oh boy, the last, the last paragraph, I can do that! Excuse <laughs> me, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a yawn. Once I go to the shower, I change into a long, strapless dress. Oh, long, strapless red dress with some red heels. I dried my hair and left it in its wavy state. My makeup was light and simple, and I applied some mascara, a bit of eyeliner, and some foundation. I walked out of the bedroom, yeah, and downstairs, only to be met by, by Carter, Cole, Kent, Kai, and AJ, all in tight button-up shirts. They cleaned up nice. Carter turned and looked at me, and his eyes wandered over my body. All the eyes went to my chest, and I rolled my eyes. Typical men. <laughs> hey, boys, I announced. My eyes are up here. Carter smirked and staked his arm around my waist. Let's go, Carter motioned, and opened the door for me. I thanked him, and we all walked to the, we all walked to the Black Escalade. Carter, Kent, AJ, and I got in the back seat, while Cole and Kai got in the front. Cole started driving, and I sat, I sat between Kent and Carter. I decided to break the silence with the question that's been bugging me. Are you all related? I asked. They chuckled. No, we're just really good friends. They're like my brothers, though, Carter replied. I nodded and looked at Carter. Do you have any siblings? I asked. Yes, I have an older brother, Thomas. He answered. Tommy, can AJ chant it? Carter chuckled and looked out the window. How old are you? I'm 22, he answered. Any more questions? Nope. I replied. Good. Wait. Yes, I do. I smiled. What is it? So I'm new to this whole gang, and I was wondering. I paused. Am I in danger? <laughs> nope. What a, what a question. So I'm like, I'm... Also, I love the fact that she said this whole gang thing. <laughs> uh, I really... Uh... I'm in danger! <laughs> uh, nope, he answered. As long as you're with me, you're safe. Why is that, I asked. I'm one of the most feared gang leaders out there, he smirked. Only the stupid people dare to mess with me. 
Okay then, I muttered. We're here, calling out. Let's party, Kent cheered. <laughs> we get out of the car and I look at the big house in front of me. Jesus, you guys must be billionaires, I gaped. No, we're just millionaires, like your family, Carter clarified. We walked into the house and I was surprised to see everyone look so classy. This is a party for old people, AJ cried. <laughs> it always is. Full side. This is your parents' house? I asked. Yep. Cut aside. My mom is all about elegance and my dad doesn't care what my mom does to the house. As long as she's happy, he's happy. Oh, my god. My baby. A middle-aged woman called. <laughs> walked towards Carter. The woman had brown... The brown eyes. That one with her brown hair. She wore a long gold dress that really made her stick out. Her ma really made her stick out in the room. Stick out in a good way, though. Hey, Mom. Carter smiled. Oh, my little car car. How are you, baby? <laughs> His mom cooed. <laughs> Can't <laughs> ate <laughs> Kai <laughs> Sorry. Huh? <laughs> it's a little car <laughs> car, so I have to go room room. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that get me? The bird rot's getting to you, Jolene. <laughs> ah, no! God, please! <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing so good. <laughs> Can AJ Kai Cole and I chuckled at his nickname and Carter turned around in the single ears. Mom, I brought I brought a date this time. Carter smiled. Sweetheart, you bring dates every time, she paused. Sadly, they're all floozies. I'm his date uh I'm his date tonight, Mom. Ken laughs and wraps his arm around Carter. Get off me, Carter growls and pushes him off. <laughs> we all laugh, and then his mom looks at me. Oh, hello, she smiles. Hi, I wave and return the smile. Mom, this is Natalie. Carter smiled. My date. Hello, Natalie. I'm Violet. She beamed. You know, you look familiar. I do? I question. She does? Carter can't tie AJ and Cole say in unison. Yes, she does. She replied. Are you Christy Chambers' daughter? Carter's eyes went wide. Oh, how do you know my mother? I asked. Christy's one of my best friends, she smiled. She's somewhere around here. Violet looked around the room, then stopped. Well, if I find her, I'll tell you- Tell her you're here. She stated. Oh, Carter, your father's looking for you. Okay, Carter sighed. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you at our family dinner tomorrow, Natalie. She smiled. Well, I wasn't invited, I sighed. And looked at Carter. Carter rolled his eyes and sighed. Natalie, would you like to go to the family dinner tomorrow? He frowned. I would love that. Thanks for asking. What if we just said no? <laughs> That'd be so really nothing, funny. But... No, but thank you. Think I'm busy. <laughs> <clears throat> Watch it. Carter whispered and I chuckled. After talking with his mom for a bit, she walked off to go mingle. I didn't realize that Cole, Kent, AJ, and Kai had been dragged onto the dance floor by some old ladies. I stood there next to Carter, who was glancing around the room. So, my mom knows your mom, I sighed. What are the odds, right? He breathed. Yeah, I paused. You wanna dance? He gave me a weird look and shrugged, and I dragged him to the dance floor. And oh, him I hate it. <laughs> You're not as sad as I thought I told him. Oh, really? He smirked. I mean, you're okay. I smiled. He chuckled, and then looked over my head and sighed. What is it? I asked. My father's coming this way. He sighed. Do you not like your dad? I wondered. Oh, I love my dad, but... I know he's gonna lecture me about my previous decisions. What, buying me for a hundred million dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, what are, what are you thinking? That is literally insane. He's, it was like, Hello, relax, friend. pops! It came out of my savings, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it came out of It was emergency. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was emergency. <laughs> <laughs> something, something like, hey, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna buy some person with the money from my savings. That's so fucking absurd. <laughs> well, what else are you gonna save it for? <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> I just want to cry. That's so dumb. Uh. Hello, son. A deep voice boomed from behind me. Father, Carter sighed. We stopped dancing and I turned around to look at his father. He was a middle-aged man with brown hair and bluish-gray eyes. That's where Carter got his eyes from. Well, if it isn't Natalie Chambers, his father smiled. I haven't seen you since you were five years old. What are you doing here with my son? He's my date, Carter replied. Really? Her, his father asked. Usually he brings a floozy. There weren't all floozies, Dad, Carter sighed. Did he pay you to come here? He whispered loudly, which caused Carter to roll his eyes. Technically, yes, he did pay for me, but I was forced to be here. Sort of, I smirked, and Carter sent me a death glare. I knew it. His dad chuckled. Carter tried to impress us with a sophisticated girl instead of a floozy. I didn't pay her, Carter growled. She came voluntarily. I was paid, I chuckled, and Carter scowled at me. Well, as much as I'd love to sit here and talk to you, his father began. I really need to speak to my dad alone. Natalie, if you want... If you want to go talk to your parents, they're in the kitchen with my wife. Oh, thank you, Mr. Grayson. I smiled. Please, call me Patrick, he smiled, and I nodded my head and walked off to go find my parents. Carter's point of view. As Natalie walked away, I realized how much trouble I'm in. Crap. My father motioned me to follow him, and we soon arrived at his office. I'm not happy with you, Carter, he growled. Family of werewolves, I guess. I know, I sighed, and I sat down in one of the chairs in front of his desk. Why did you fire Martinez? He asked angrily. Martinez was getting old, I replied. I need young guys to make the drop. Martinez wasn't gonna make wasn't making the cut. Martinez has been in the game since you were a child, Carter, he declared. He knows the game better than any of us. Look, I have. You run your game and gang and I'll run mine. Well, you're running your gang wrong, he, he growled. Sorry, um, whose gang is at the top again? I said, oh right, mine. His jaw clenched and he leaned back, back in his chair. Don't forget who helped you get to the top, he growled. Cole, I added. No, he argued. It was me. If it weren't for me, your little gang wouldn't have made it as far as it has. I'd like to differ, I retorted. I worked my ass off to get to where I am today. You're just mad that my gang is better than yours, and you're mad at the fact that you're not at the top anymore. No father likes to be upstaged by their son. I stood up from my seat and walked toward the door. Don't abuse your pa power, Carter, he warned. Corrupt leaders can easily be overthrown. Do you think I'll overthrow him? That'd be, that'd be cool. Well, Natalie, I'm so used to reading X readers. <laughs> yeah, this is an that OC. <laughs> yeah. Actually, is there even, like, X readers? This is, like, a, a, like a... Like an original story. I don't think this is based off of anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still like, my brain's like, X reader or Bowie. <laughs> Those are the two modes. <laughs> <laughs> Just Bowie. I, I guess we have been <laughs> flopping back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Natalie's point of view. I was happily having a conversation with my parents, but I was pulled away from them. I looked up to find 6 3 handsome jerk Carter. I was talking to someone, I argued. I don't care, he growled, and pulled me towards the dance pulled me through the dance floor as he tried to locate the guy. Where are we going? I asked. Home, he yeah. asked. We found Cole. We found Cole getting his cheeks pinched by some old ladies and then getting his butt squeezed by another <coughs> old lady. Those were the two easiest to get away from the The two Those were the easiest to get away from the old ladies. Kai and AJ weren't as lucky. All right, you bags of dust. Hand over the men. Cole growled. <laughs> and I quietly then hit Cole on the shoulder for being rude. Cole turned towards me. And man, if looks could kill, I'd be six feet under right now. I slowly moved behind Carter and hoped Cole, that Cole wouldn't kill me. After a few attempts, Cole and Carter... Ah, Cole and Carter were able to pry AJ and Kai away from the old woman. And we walked to the car and we got in. The car ride home was silent and seat in the car made me sleepy. 
When we arrived at the house, I got out and walked up the stairs. When I got to the bedroom, I grabbed some pajamas and then I walked into the bathroom. I changed into some, into some sweatpants and a tank top. And I walked into the bedroom. Carter was laying on the bed and staring at the wall with a pissed off expression on his face. I just tell. Don't talk to Carter when he's mad. I walked to my side over the bed and curled under the blanket. Man, is this bed comfy. But it still feels weird having someone else on the bed. Bill Carter sits on the bed. Oh. The light shut off. Good night, Carter, I whisper. Good night, Natalie. He dies. Boy, be he... nice to this man. He bought us for a hundred million dollars. And we're just, just like... to show off to his parents. Yeah. So he's gonna return us tomorrow? Or... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You know, yeah, this is dog shit, and this is the worst service. One star on Yelp. <laughs> worst. <laughs> One star on Yelp. Worst. Uh, what are they called? Oh fuck. That's uh, worst es escort of my entire life. One star. <laughs> 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 Parents found out immediately. I I bought her, literally. <laughs> All right, Jolien, how did you feel? I don't remember this book being as funny I as it was. <laughs> Honestly, that, that was fairly funny. I, I had a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were bought by werewolf vampire looking ass hahas. <laughs> Everyone's the same carbon copy of each other. <laughs> Old women like gangster men with tattoos. <laughs> and Natalie's a pushover with a gun. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> See, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I mean, I remember the beginning, but I was like, yeah. I, I remember her being like, Father, you have returned home. He's like, I just sold you to a gang leader. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all I remember. So the fact that I got a good laugh out of it was really fun, too. An yeah. eight-year-old eight laugh that's been <laughs> pindering. <laughs> But, all right, Jolene, do you want to spin the wheelie? I do a I, wheelie? I, I guess. Okay. I, words. My brain doesn't even function no more. It's, it's okay. I don't have words anymore either. All right. Look at how beautiful the wheel is. Look how <laughs> precious it is with all this good book. <laughs> I'm hoping for Waluigiism so we can remove it. And just have it done. But I'm also hoping for law because it's been a hot minute. I realize we still have Phoenix's choice on here twice. Yeah, because you're like, oh, we don't get your choice enough. And I'm like, alright. And so I put it again. <laughs> now like, take that off. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, just, just tell me what and care. I'll spin. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, uh, hold up. I'm not ready. My brain. I'm trying to calculate what I want. <laughs> While you're calculating, it's still spinning. No, I know, I know, I know, I don't know. Uh, um, uh, 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 now, no, no, no. Please. <laughs> You're like, no, no, my calculations! <laughs> my calculations! You sick! <laughs> I was right! How did God you do it? God has blessed me. Wow, that's good for you. Uh, for for Sage, it does it does not bless the wheel for them. <laughs> it does the opposite. They just gotta, they just gotta do calculation. Yeah, they literally they just had a, the, the brain power that I have. They literally did what we spun the wheel yeah. right before. There was an ad on the side for a Verasica keychain. They're like, oh my god, what if it's a sign that we're gonna get a Verasica one and it spun and it's in my choice and it would scream so loud it didn't pick up on the mic. <laughs> but they're like, uh. fuck. Oh, by the way, I figured out what chapter I'm on of uh, of the fic. Mm -hmm. I'm on chapter 19. Damn, you fucking speed ran that shit, and you're like, I'm not waiting for. Uh, by the way, I'm not even. I'm not even speed running. That's me reading at a leisurely rate and reading only at work. Well, be fair, we only do like this for an hour, so that's what two, three chapters. So you're like, you're you're getting them done. Plus, you're a better reader than I am. <laughs> I I'm really enjoying it. It's very good. Well, how I think, uh, I cannot read. I, I <laughs> how much of um? Can can you just at least tell me how they bonded so far? Just don't don't be you specific. Know, they, I'd scale one to ten. They're they're hanging out. Just like getting getting brunch or. <laughs> well, look 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 look! You didn't want details. I just said they're hanging out. On a scale of one to ten. <laughs> 
What do you mean? What's what's the feelings between the two? Oh, the feelings? Yeah. Oh, we're like, give me, like, what would be one and what would be ten? I guess one would be at the, like, how we were at the beginning, we're like the enemies, and I guess ten is lovers. And then middle, I guess, um... is like friends, I guess. Or maybe like, maybe a seven, because they did start off as enemies, so maybe like a seven is friends. Oh, seven is friends. Maybe. Like, is like seven best friends, or seven just like, close friends? Okay, maybe five is friends, seven is best friends, and then we move into being, like, romantic. Um, we're, like, maybe, like, a three. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, two or three. They're acquainted. Still they're, they're chains, acquainted. they're acquainted. <laughs> um, you, you'll, you'll enjoy some of the parts that we could scream about. I don't remember if we'll get to them. Oh my god. But it's quite nice. Oh my god. They, they're quite nice. There's, there's some solid moments. I cannot wait. Hopefully there's I some can... moments that make you go, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Hopefully, I remember how That's to read right. next week. So, this will oh, be you're good. You are perfectly good. All right. Well, thank you for joining Jolene. And this was a good laugh. If <laughs> if, anyone to, if anyone wants to check out this nine year old book, fucking go for it. <laughs> but uh, hey, on screen is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings that I've done. It has Jolene in it sometimes, and there's other people in it. Some some are better than others, and then there's a- Some are better than others. <laughs> are you thinking the people in the fix? I, can't, I don't think I- I think my lawyer told me to shut up, just I heard them in the distance. And then on oh my god! And then on screen is, a, is, a, is a, the last video I did on the channel for Wattpad Book Club, so check that shit out. But, uh... It, and then, yeah, thanks only for joining. I appreciate it, man. Of course, of course. You could be sleeping, but you're reading a shitty fanfiction with me. <laughs> I had a good laugh. Yeah. I think that's the uh, hardest make... I've ever heard you laugh. <laughs> during oh my sleep. god. <laughs> my brain is dead. It really killed me. And my brain was like, oh, like, I'm like, waiting for you to arrive, and I'm working on my documents, and I'm just like, I got my whole spreadsheet pulled up, and my, my slideshow, and my in my dog and, and everything, and then by the end, my brain is, is rotted yeah. <laughs> by, yeah, you... by, by vampire gang member. Don't forget Room Room with the car car. <laughs> room with the car car. It's so dumb, but it gets me. But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>